in this video, which is part 12, we're going to focus on uh, adjusting the uh, background color stop because that will eventually create an issue if we have a huge amount of data points here. Next, and you might you already might notice it, this one here is the uh, interpolation, but that will be solved in another video. We have to first fix the background color stop. So let's start to look at that first. So now let's start to look at the second part of the error that we're going to solve now. So right now we have this here, and this works all fine, but sometimes you might notice there's an error. So if I'm going to scroll down here, I'm going to put in here 100, you might, it might work or it might not work. As you can see here, now it works fine, although as you can see here, the ticks here, this is not working well, or at least it doesn't align correctly, so we have to solve that, but that will be in the next video. But what I want to do is basically the background color issue. So this tend to give an issue, but not always, especially if the value is somewhere here below. So let's start to solve that one just to avoid any errors in there. And actually that's quite easy. So if we're going to scroll down here, we have to go to the background color stop. So we're going to look for here, uh, scroll down here, that's this one here. This is the shift. This is very important. Sometimes, especially if this starting point would be at the very bottom or even negative or somehow or somewhere here, and the ticks here will go up. What will happen, it will give an error because it's like over the 100%. And here, the value can only be between 0 and 1. So what I want to do here is the shift, sometimes with the formula, we will calculate, and then we'll calculate it's 1.1 or 1.2 or even more. So that means it's 110%. And this gives an instant error. So let me show you, for example, here. Basically, that's this one. So we say here, if I would say a shift, it would be 1.1. Save, refresh. Now we get an error. The reason why this error is, is because of the color stop here. At the color stop gradient, value 1.1 is outside the range of 0 and 1.0, which makes sense. So what I want to do here now is a, a check. Basically say the following. If shift is larger than one in that case i want to say shift equals one very straightforward so this is to avoid our issue so if i do now here shift equals 1.1 save refresh there we are so we get this one although i'm surprised that we get here still some other effects or probably because of the formula so don't worry about that one because it's the formula we have here but if i would remove this save refresh there we are so now this works we have one of them at least solved next video we're going to look at the ticks here because that will be very complicated one as well because it's based on the formulas here below